All right, what's up YouTube? I hope everyone is doing well. I just really wanted to talk one-on-one -on -one with you guys. Um, no me Dory, no one else. I'm not at work, I'm in my room, which I honestly rarely ever vlog in. <laughs> I just wanted to share some, you know, serious stuff with you guys. I was watching this video on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below. I think it's on YouTube, I forget. I'll, I'll find a video. I'll put the link in the description below. It hit me really deep in my heart. And it's a video about an inmate who, he killed someone who was a lot younger. And result, he's now going to be in prison for the rest of his life. And one thing he shared was that he can't do anything about what he did in the past. That's in the past now. Uh, you can't do anything about that anymore. But one thing that he talked about was, I can't change what I did in the past, but I could change what I do now. And he said, I wish in the past when I made that bad decision that I thought about now. That when I made decision in the past, instead of thinking of just how cool I am, but he really thought about that moment now because what that moment now that he did at that moment, he will never ever get it back again. And, he, and one thing he shared was, you guys who are listening to me right now, you have to appreciate now, the moment you're living in now. Because this moment right now, you will never get back ever again. Just the last couple minutes of watching my video, those couple minutes that you took to watch my video, you will never ever get back again. You gave it to me. That is why time is one of the most precious, if not the most precious thing on earth. Um, and it's time. And so what I wanna to talk to everyone about is, what are you doing now? What are you doing differently now to really make a change? Because a lot of people will dwell, Chris, I haven't gotten hired yet. I've been studying code for how long? A year already, a year and a half. Chris, no one wants to hire me. Uh, Chris, should I just give up? Because sometimes you just have to know. But you can't just think of what you need at this moment. What you're doing now, what you're doing at this moment, you have to use that to determine your future, what you want in the future. I'm not sure if it's coming out correctly, but when I, I had a job, I mean, when I started learning code, I had a good job. I was being paid $18 an hour and I had a good job. I was paid well, I had health insurance, but what I knew was that that job that I had, no way would I be able to take care of my family, no way I would be able to help my mom or Midori or even take care of my health because the health insurance I had at that company wasn't even good enough. The reason I studied code was because yes, I, I knew that what I did at that moment, which was my now back then, would affect where I would be a year from then. Does that make sense? And guys, that was 11 months ago. I knew that taking the time to study code, even though it wouldn't happen to me right away, in return would help me a lot. Uh, mainly because I know that uh, programmers are paid well and they are taken care of at the companies. And so my word of advice and words of encouragement to everyone who's learning code right now, who doesn't have it easy, who probably hasn't gotten hired yet, what is it that you have to think about? You have to think about is, why am I doing it? Am I doing it because I just want a lot of money? Or do I want a better future? Do I want to get out of my dead end job? But then, If that's the case, and one thing you have to understand is that it will not be easy. Learning code is one of the hardest things you could ever do. It takes perseverance, it takes mindset, it takes self-discipline to get there. But just recently, I'm finally getting back into PHP again after studying Ruby, and I forgot how much I love it. And so now what I'm doing is I'm studying PHP about two to three hours a day Monday to Friday so I'm studying PHP about 15 hours a week now and it's amazing I'm learning so much and I love it and I enjoy it but the main reason I'm doing it is because I know PHP is one of the most popular backend languages out there that every company almost every company uses and so just having that as my in my armory as, as a weapon to help me get a job in the future is so valuable because I'm not studying it just because everyone says it's popular. I'm studying it because I know it'll help set me up for a better future than I have now. To take care of my family, to take care of my health. And so my words to everyone is what are you doing now? After you watch this video, 
What are you going to do a few minutes after you watch that video? Are you just going to lie down, relax? Or are you going to do something about that because you know that moment that you're, you're using will never come back again? And, and, and you know, I think about that a lot and that's why for me time is so valuable. That's why I hate wasting time. I hate when I make a mistake that causes me to be 30 minutes late to something because I could have used that 30 minutes for something else. Um, that's why every chance I get, I manage my time well. I, although I don't use a calendar, I plan my day throughout my day in advance so I make the best use of my time. And I tend to get things done pretty good because I value my time so much. And what are you doing with your time? How much do you value your time? And most of all, how much do you value your future? I know guys, studying code isn't easy, but it's worth it. I know that sometimes you want to quit, but if you quit now, then where will you be anyway? You'll be exactly where you are now. I just wanted to end a vlog like that, so thank you guys for watching. It is about, it's 12.30 in the morning guys. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize, that's 12.30 in the morning. But I really want to share this with you, it's 12.30 a.m. I have to be at work at 6 a.m. So I have to wake up at 5.30 to get to work. But I'm going to edit this video anyway that you're watching now to make sure I have this video live um, by the time before I get to work tomorrow. So, alright guys, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you for watching. This is Krishan. This is the Life of Web Developer. And I'm out. Bye.